Hey guys, what's going on? This is Meta Talks, episode 16. I'm going to talk about the biggest patch note changes and how it's going to affect our metagame, and I'm also going to talk about our common picks and bans we're seeing at high elo. Uh, so, this patch we have Riven, the Exile. Um, I played her a couple times. Uh, she's... She's okay. Um, basically, uh, she's a very combo-based champion. She feels like uh, feels like I'm also playing like an arcade character with her. Uh, I really like um, her basic skill set, uh, her basic kit. Uh, Broken Wings is like a three-step thing. It's like attack, attack, and then you do like a little jump flip thing, and like it's a little mini knockback slash like mini interrupt kind of thing, and um, that's pretty fun. Uh, Key Burst is like a little AOE uh, stun thing. Um, it's only a 0.5 second stun and does some damage. Um, I think the stun duration's a little too short. They should maybe bump it up to like a scaling uh, from 0.5 to 1 second uh, late game. I think that'd be a lot better for her. Um, and then Valor, uh, Riven dashes towards and gains a shield for short duration. Um, this is okay. Um, I think she should be able to dash through walls though. I think it'd be, uh, d it's not even that much big of a dash. It's, if she could just dash, you know, like that much farther when she used it. Then she could go through walls that make for a lot uh, uh, better gameplay, I think. And um, then we have Blade of Exile, which is our ultimate. Uh, basically, it gives her like a full form of her sword and gives her 20% damage increase, makes her abilities uh, a little bit better. Um, and it will get an extended range, it says, and then uh, the ability to use Wind Slash once, which is just like. Um, Wind Slash is actually a really shitty ability um, outside of the damage increase. Um, it's like an uh, almost like a ranged execute, um, but it's slow moving. Um, the cast time kind of sucks, and it doesn't deal that much damage. Um, I feel like they should really uh, remake her ultimate um, in that sense, or not remake, but or at least make it like an instant thing. Like it's like a instant cone, like Cho'Gath Silence, like you range execute instantly. I think that that, that would probably be really fucking good. Um, and that's basically how I feel about her. Her laning phase is okay. Uh, you can harass a lot. Um, but right now, I'd say she's probably tier 3, low tier 3, high tier 4 champion. She's okay. She's nothing special. Um, she's fun. Uh, but a lot of people have been complaining about the forums. Like, she's really fun. You know, she's a really cool champion. But she just seems, I think, she's a little bit underpowered. I, I do. Um, and it's just really small things. Like, like I said, um, the key burst scaling to 0.5 second stun, uh, it's only a 0.5 second extra stun, and I mean, that's really not that crazy. And then, you know, Blade of Exile being able to do, uh, dash a little bit farther through walls, that's all you're changing on it, you know? Those little two things would, you know, make her so much better and fun to play. Um, then if you made her ultimate, if you made the ultimate, um, when you actually use Wind Slash, like an instant, like Cho'Gath's thing, it's like, boom, it just like, goes out and hits, that would be so g way better, because lots of times when I'm trying to use it, and I'm like, oh, okay, click, 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 and it's like, you sit there, cast time, then it goes out and it's slow, and then I miss. It's like, well, that fucking sucked. Um, so if they made that instance, um, I think she'd be actually be like a tier 2 champion. Um, and those, those aren't really like, nothing about her um, damage or anything that has been changed. Her damage is really good. Her, her damage late game is actually really good because of her passive uh, and her ultimate, but because... Uh, she's got these like low us usability issues. It's it's knocking her down. So if she was got this a little bit more uh, usability. Um, she'd be a lot better, I think. And she's you know she's really fun to play. And that's how I feel about Riven. Uh, Brand uh, Brand got nerfed. Um, conflagration range reduced to six twenty five from six uh, seventy five. Um, it just basically gives him a little bit less lane control, which is what Brand has a lot of. Um, which is okay. He doesn't need. He he was super strong in lane. He didn't need that. Um, then pillar of flame got reduced by uh, five damage, uh, which is my favorite thing. Whoopty fucking do. It just makes it look like you know his damage has been reduced so much. He got nerfed. But really, the biggest thing is the conflagration range. Uh, so you can't do that E and then W combo as well anymore. Um, but that's fine. He needs those neural nerfs. He's still completely viable. So don't worry about that. Um, uh, ooh, Ezreal Essence Flux will now break shields. Yay! Um, <laughs> that's how I feel about that. Uh, a, a new change, uh, a, a talkable, talkable change. I don't even know what that means, talkable. I want to talk about change. Something that's interesting. Anyways, Garen, decisive strike, attack damage ratio increased to 0.14 from 0.15. 
Oh my gosh, it's been decreased by 0.1. Whatever. Um, that's fine. Uh, but judgment damage has been reduced by f um, 60, or not 60, rather. I don't know why I said that. Not from 60. Uh, by 10. Sorry, I'm super tired right now. And I should have done this like an hour ago, and then my friend made me play it again. Just letting you know. Anyways, back on traffic. Uh, damage has been, been reduced by 10. Um, but the scaling um, has been increased by 0.2, which is actually a lot. It's a, it's a lot of damage. Uh, Garen is actually an AD heavy champion. He's like an AD tank. Like you can actually get a lot of AD damage on him and you know spin to win. So, I mean, this hurts his early game, which is fine because his early game is quite strong. Uh, but then this is you know makes up for buffing his late game. So I f I'm totally fine with these changes. It's just these are like little balancing act uh, things that make him a little bit better. You know, don't feel too strong early game. Don't feel too strong late game. Um, that was the thing. Garen's early game, you're like, yeah, I'm fucking Garen. I'm a fuck you bitch. And then you're just like, uh, spin. And then you, uh, again. And then people blow up, right? That's just how Garen is. And then late game, people are like, haha, I bought a fucking cloth armor. You do no damage now. And Garen's like, fuck my life. How must I win? And they're like, wait a minute. Well, let's buff him a little bit late game. So good on you, Riot. Um, I'm glad you did that. That's a good change. Uh, Jarvin. Added a targeting ring to Cataclysm, so you don't get more of those. I'm helping Jarvins. You're like, oh, oh, he's getting away. I'll jump and trap everyone in here, and then like Kenan, fucking fiddle sticks, and Galio come in. Are like, oh, sweet, like pentakill your team, and you're like, holy shit, thanks, Jarvin. Uh, and that's where that Mimi came from. I'm helping Jarvin. Anyways, on to my favorite changes of this patch. Uh, void stone magic damage has been increased to 15% from 10%. Woo! Yay, they gave him a little uh, laning phase back. So he is getting to be a little bit uh, better at laning versus casters now. Uh, it's just good to help out his laning phase. Here's another one. Fucking null missile. I'm, not, I'm skipping the sphere because it's fucking a missile now. It's just null missile missile speed increased to 1400 from 1150. Before you're like, null sphere, and it's like, whoo, now it's like, whoo, whoo, like I fucking cast that shit. I was pulling wool for someone. I was like, oh my god, I'm shooting laser beams. I'm like, ball laser beams now. That's what casting shoots, which is awesome. Um, and then another blade base damage has been increased by 30 uh, from 20 uh, up to 60. Or, no, from 60 to 90. So it gets increased by 10 early game, and then 30 damage at max rank. Um, that's not bad. I mean, you don't really do a lot of auto-attacking on Kassadin, uh, but when you do get in those 1v1 skirmishes, and then I guess you do uh, break it down, extra, extra, you know, 30 damage and extra 10 damage early game can really, you know, make the difference between a kill and a, and a death. So, I mean, it's not the, you know, it's whatever, but the first, uh, the 5% increased... Uh, damage reduction for magic damage, and then the null sphere uh, missile speed increase are very helpful. Those are u usability buffs. We were talking about with Riven. Basically, she just needs usability buffs, uh, not so much you know really damage increases or anything like that. Uh, just usability buffs, and that's what they did to um, our favorite neighborhood Kassadin over here, and that's really good. I'm glad they did it. And yeah, um, Leona recommended items updated, including Ionian boots and. A boot of ludicity and Trinity Force. I love all those people in the forums like Elements plays Boots Ludicity Trinity Force. Leona, he's a new. Why would you ever get Trinity Force? Right? It's like boom, add that shit. Elements had it right. <coughs> Even though I haven't played uh, Leona a long time, I'm dying. If you didn't know. All right, on to the next meaningful changes. Mortis Kaiser, Iron Man. Um, shield regeneration has been adjusted to 30% at all levels, from 25 scaling up to 